An event putting your boat building skills to the test is happening this weekend in Sioux Falls. Kelloland's Travis Fossing tells us what it takes to win the great cardboard boat race. It's a quiet morning at Keene Pool as Sioux Falls Parks and Recreation preps the pool area for the great cardboard boat race. And it's an opportunity for young and old alike to build a cardboard boat with duct tape only to hold it together and come to the pool and race against a variety of other boats from big to small. Gene Pearson is Recreation Program Coordinator and says the requirements are in place for a reason. We don't want anything that's going to you know, contaminate the water or do anything to the water, so it's strictly just cardboard and strictly just duct tape. Um, and if you don't want to take it home after it's been in the water, we'll take care of uh, disposal. That's not an issue on our end. Life jackets are provided, but you do have to supply your own ore. We've seen all kinds of ores from homemade ones with broom handles to actual oars from boats. So, uh, and then if you don't bring one, uh, a lot of people share. Pearson says there's been no shortage of creativity over the years. All the houses in Harry Potter were represented. We had a Titanic that just could not sink. Um, it floated all morning long and uh, got bragging rights for the best boat. It's always entertaining to see what kids come up with and come up with different ideas for their boats. Um, one was made out of cereal boxes one year. Parks and Rec will hand out awards for speed, seaworthiness, creativity, and even the first to sink. You know, hey, you know, you gave it a gallant try. You know, we're proud of you for doing it. Um, so first to sink usually wins an award. And the price is right. The event is free to participate in or attend. If you haven't been, it's something that you really should stop by and see. In Sioux Falls, Travis Fossing, Kelloland News. Check-in for the event starts at 9 tomorrow morning at Keene Pool, followed by the races at 10. As of this morning, 39 people and 20 vessels were scheduled to compete. And if you'd like to enter a boat, we've provided a link to register under this story on Kelloland.com. <laughs>